That's right, baby, it's Drawing with Michael. <clears throat> All right, so this morning I'm gonna start out with um, what I usually start out with, which is um, shapes, your basic shapes. Whenever it comes to form, um, I like to, and, and character design, I like to do things a little bit rougher than probably your your average Joe because I love I love my lines. You know, I love feeling the gesture out. I love determining, you know, where the shoulders are, where the face <clears throat> you know, where that face is, where that line of action is and and, you know, my lines really help me do that. You know, I've seen some people go and they'll, you know, they'll basically just kind of sculpt the face, which I don't think there's, you know, anything wrong with that. And sculpt as they go. <clears throat> and those people are probably a billion times better than I am. And that's fine. But this is what kind of works for me. And that's kind of what everybody, you know, whenever it comes to drawing, has to learn, you know, what works for them. Um... And this kind of has what has worked for me over the years. It's just kind of find my way, find my path, determine, you know, what's the path of, of most success? Where, where am I going to get the most return for, you know, my dollar, uh, my time dollar? Because as we all know, time is money. So what I'm doing right now is I'm kind of starting off on, I mean, I'm always constantly trying to improve and do things a little bit different, you know, the way that, that um, and, and that's kind of how I learn. I learn by doing um, some people learn a lot by just watching a video or having, you know, a teacher speak to them, but I learn by, uh, by doing, and I think a lot of other people do. Um, you know, whenever I was a kid, <coughs> my, um, my dad was very, he was kind of old school, <laughs> um, to say the least. You know, as as you know, I'm I'm a little bit older than uh, than probably some of you watching, um, but I still have that childlike view on you know what I do and work and stuff like that. So, but my dad, he came from kind of the old school, and he came from the school of of those people that you know their parents came from the Great Depression, and and you know you learn basically from my dad's perspective, you learn by doing. You know, I remember whenever I started to learn how to drive a car because I'm, I'm, I'm starting to, to get my daughter into driving a car and I'm kind of, to frankly, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm a little frightened because, you know, let's be honest, everybody has an opportunity to be able to drive, but at the end of the day, not everybody should be drawing, or not drawing, driving. Um, you know, some people are better at it than others. Some people are fantastic at it. Some people have observational skills and and uh, you know those those attributes. To... And he basically, you know, by doing, uh, um, you know, learning how to drive, and and also he was very um, <clears throat> he was very attentive in a lot of areas. But of course, in, in other areas, he wasn't attentive. You know, I, I had a, a a very interesting discussion with my daughter because, you know, she's getting older, she's 16 years old, and, you know, she's interested in doing all these things, and I, and, and I kind of bucked a little bit. Obviously, you know, the dad of me wants to protect my children, um, but on the same accord, you need to give them the same opportunities that I had. I was driving a car at 14 years old, and, you know, my dad, I had a discussion with him as well, and he reminded me, he said, you know, I knew that that day would come whenever I had to basically allow you to kind of spread your wings and <clears throat> find out who you were as, you know, a person. And, and that to me was really an instrumental thing that kind of led to who I am now as a, you know, as a person who really values learning, um, and overall, just really 
you know, loves to draw and, and loves to experiment and loves to do things in life. So I, I thank you, Dad, for that. And, you know, the fact that I had the ability to <clears throat> drive a car so young was pretty awesome. I lived out in the middle of nowhere. We lived in a very rural part of Louisiana. Um, if anybody lives in Louisiana, whoop, whoop. <coughs> But the plain fact is, I lived in the middle of nowhere, people. And, you know, I was able to take a car out in the middle of a field, and I was able to sit there and really learn how to draw, or not, or not draw, but um, drive a stick shift, and, you know, learn the ins and outs and how it felt like to, number one, lose control of a car, because I, I purposefully lost control of the car to see exactly what it felt like. Also, you know, learning what it felt like to spin out, learning felt with the weight of the car and, and all those things are, you know, are important in learning how to, um, learn how to, how to drive. You need to know the, know the limits of the automobile. It really helped me later on whenever I had a really fast car and, uh, you know, I already knew, you know, exactly kind of what the car was going to do even, even before, you know, it happened. So anyway, what I'm trying to say is I learned by doing, um, and that's kind of, what I think that, you know, this particular project is going to do. I love drawing. I love, you know, you guys know that, you know that about my videos. I love, I love doing, um, you know, illustration work and design work and stuff, but also I just love the process. I love feeling, you know, the paper. I love, there is no substitute. You know, I, I do digital illustration as well. I have a Wacom tablet, which I know some of you guys do. My Wacom tablet's a 21 UX. Uh, Cintiq, it's a little bit older, <clears throat> but it still works fantastic, and I got a great deal on it, so there's no reason for me to go and spend, you know, $2,500 or $3,000 on, on an HD model, you know, until, you know, the money becomes available. I also use a, um, a lot of people don't know this, but I also use a Surface Pro, a Surface Pro 2, and, you know, I know the new, uh, the new iPad recently, you know, the iPad Pro came out, and, and I want one of those. The problem is, is they're a thousand bucks out the door. I mean, you could probably get one used a little bit cheaper, and then you gotta go buy a pen separate. And <coughs> it's a fantastic machine. Um, but for me, the Surface Pro kind of works uh, for me right now. It's got the same sensitivity that my Cintiq does. Um, in terms of pressure sensitivity, because that's important. You know, you don't want to go and go backwards. I don't know what the pressure sensitivity is on the iPad. I know for my older iPad, it sucked because I had a, I had a, um, you know, an iPad 4. And then I had an iPad Air. And recently I thought about, you know, I'm going to get another iPad. And then I thought, you know, really? I, I don't really need an iPad. I'm just going to kind of make do until I start making the millions. Not really millions, but you know what I'm saying. Everybody knows here what I'm saying. At least that disposable income. I won't buy anything. So my Surface Pro is fantastic because it's got incredible sensitivity. Um, and, you know, I can take it places. The battery life is the downfall of the Surface Pro. It sucks. I mean, I might get, believe it or not, I might get... I'm embarrassed to say it because Microsoft should kind of be ashamed of themselves. I might get two and a half, three hours uh, of drawing on the normal battery. And it's because it's got an i5 processor. It's because it's fast. It's because it's powerful. And, you know, you say, well, Mike, the iPad is you know fast and powerful. Yes, it is. And, and I'm not going to argue that at all. Um, the challenge is, is, you know, you have to work with what you have and I have a Surface Pro. So I went out and bought the extra battery for it and I'm not sure, <laughs> I guess it added an hour, an hour or two. It's supposed to add, you know, an incredible amount of time, but did it do that? No. Anyway, so what you see I'm doing right now is I'm doing Snow White. Kind of a different character style today. Um... I love doing Disney stuff, not only because, you know, I had the opportunity to work with Disney, work for Disney, um, but also, you know, that, that legacy that Disney has in their art house, um, 
to really push you know the limits and the and the boundaries of character design and, and illustration and stuff and storytelling and I'm not gonna get a, too out of control with your chest. You don't want to do that. With not with Disney characters. But I really, you know, I really enjoy doing this because, you know, again, it kind of shows a different facet of my capability as an artist, but also it allows me to kind of experiment a little bit with different types of um, design. Anyway, so this morning, it's a little bit of a short video because it's the weekend, almost. It's almost the weekend. I got this really big project that I'm working on for Universal Studios, and I'm very excited. You know, I'm excited to show you guys because I've, I've been, uh, you know, kind of going through the process of, of the different steps in designing what I'm doing. And it's been, it's been a lot of fun, <clears throat> but also it's been challenging because even though I've done what I'm doing, you know, hundreds of times, it's still, I still have that trepidation of, you know, is it going to be good enough? Is it going to be great? Now the, the clients, they love what I'm doing. So that's really, that's a positive thing. But also you always need to question, you need to say, why am I doing this? How can I better it? How is it different from what's in the, in the existing market? You know, why is this going to be an attractive thing to look at whenever somebody looks at it? Is it going to be something that somebody wants to buy, um, you know, and shell out their money? You know, just because you throw a logo on it doesn't mean it's good. You know, a, a logo, whatever the property may be, from SpongeBob to whatever, just because it has SpongeBob on it doesn't mean people are going to shell dollars out for it. So anyway, this is uh, a Snow White character. I'm probably going to try to do all the princesses, which would be great and fun, great fun. I'm also, um, of course, I'm just about done editing, um, you know, my Beans uh, digital illustration because I wanted to do commentary on that one as well. Commentary and, and, and just kind of show you the ins and outs of, of the different aspects of the program I'm using, which is Sketchbook Pro, which I love. And also um, just trying to make these videos better. So anyway, thank you guys. This is this morning's uh, offering. This after I get done with her, is going to be Snow White. I don't remember any of the songs from Snow White. Does anybody remember any of the songs? There we go. She's got dark hair. <clears throat> it's white. That's blue. She's got this striped. Okay, that is that. So thank you guys. Um, as always, press the like button. That helps a lot. It helps a lot for placement. It helps a lot for whenever people do searches on YouTube, on the internet, on Google Analytics. It helps direct um, the search engine to my page. And, and whenever that happens, then the stuff gets out to more people and and it basically you know kind of is a snowball effect I've got I don't know how many subscribers 350 40 something like that and it's happened in a short amount of time which is awesome but I would like to get you know obviously a little bit more um, you know we can crank maybe two or three of these out a week so you guys can enjoy them so anyway, I'm going to do a time lapse on this, and we'll see you on the other side, maybe with some commentary about her. Maybe I'll do a, a castle in the background. I don't know, maybe a bird. Maybe a bird on a branch goes, you know, through here. And maybe the bird's like right here. You know, maybe the bird is singing. I don't know. You can do anything. That's what's great with art, right? You can do anything you want. Thank you guys, and we'll see you soon.
And thank you guys once again for visiting my channel. I appreciate it. Click the like and subscribe button and share if you can. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day.